don't you want a build that does insane stagger damage, nice clean speed, and barely allows the behemoth to get back up? I'm telling you guys, this is the build for you. Check it out. Well, here it is. Guys, this build was specifically asked for by Noisy Boy 321. Noisy Boy, thanks for having me do this. Uh, this was is actually one of my best builds ever. It's kind of close to my Aether Strikers build. If you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out. I called it the best Aether Strikers of 2021 because it kind of is. You know, uh, if you don't believe me, go check it out. Trust me. Um, this one, uh, ask Noisy Boy himself. If Noisy Boy, uh, leave a comment down below uh, just to let these guys know what's up. You know, uh, me and him ran. Uh, I was using this build yesterday. Uh, when I actually made it when he asked for it um, And you guys hit the like go for my last uh, build video. So here it is and noisy boy Enjoy yourself with this. And I promise you you enjoy every single minute of this. Let's get into the build We will start with The hammer what uh, what is the hammer? What are the cells all that good stuff? Um, this is an exotic weapon you get this from slain heroic cherigs I finally said chair correctly. Now, before we get into anything else, let me quickly change the look. There we go. You guys saw nothing. <laughs> All right. So the hammer is the molten edict. Um, due to the new update, uh, this comes with three berserker. And forget what I said about you get it by slaying cherry. No, you actually have to find a lore to it and then complete the uh the missions that come along with it um i've been in the dauntless community for um i believe two to three years somewhere around there so i kind of know my stuff and um i've had these for a very long time molten edict the hunger all all the, the exotic weapons including uh uh the twin sons the repeaters uh i'll be making a build of that soon um thanks to noisy boy again Got guys hit that like button and thanks to noisy boy i mean like he's really keeping me on my toes with these bills man and i gotta make them as good as possible for you guys because that's what you guys need that's all i'm saying but um coming back to the molten edict comes with three berserker that's why i have three i would not put berserker on a hammer but this Molten Edict comes with it. Uh, Noisy Boy asked for the Molten Edict uh, specifically. So here it is. It, uh, it limits, it takes off 150 uh, health from my max and I gain 2% damage uh, for three seconds. It stacks 10 times. So as long as I'm continually hitting the Behemoth uh, and I get have all 10 stacks, I'll be doing 20% damage. I don't think that's that bad to be honest um so i put on a rage cell um and it comes with one prismatic cell that's all that also came from the new update all of the all of the exotics have one prismatic cell uh and it also has a perk so that's top notch i put in wild frenzy for uh increased attack speed uh because hammer is slow uh kind of like my um Shielded Strike, my uh, Malignant Scourge weapon uh, build. Uh, it's, it just wasn't. It's very slow without Wild Frenzy. Um, hammer is, uh, to me, Hammer is actually slower. Um, on the Dauntless website, uh, it says that Axe is the slowest out of all of them. But to me, using Hammer and using Axe, I myself see that Hammer is much, much slower. So, uh... Instead of having three Wild Frenzy, I need six. So you will see where I put the other Wild Frenzy in there. Now, the special is the Molten Edict. Um, yeah, these exotics, they don't have your normal specials. Like uh, the Hunger, it comes with the Hunger special. Not um, the Beyblade, Beyblade, Let It Rip thing. Or, uh, uh, I, I forgot the name. I haven't used Sword in so long. My goodness. 
Uh, I'll look into that later. Um, but yeah, the uh, and the God Hand, it doesn't come with uh, Reckless Leap or uh, the other two. Um, but this one converts every single explosive use, like the one that you would usually use to create the Aether Vent or uh, uh, Interrupt a Behemoth. Um, no, it uses this and turns it into a fireball that deals damage based on your ammo quality. If you have max quality and use all four, it will cause a wall of flame that does damage to the behemoth. And sometimes even setting the behemoth on fire, giving the behemoth that debuff. It's type fire. I love it so much. Now, the mod that I put on was Turbine Trigger. Whenever you prime your attack and land the attack, it increases your attack speed attack speed your attack speed by 10 percent until your combo ends and it stacks multiple times so continually hit the behemoth don't miss an attack um the clips i have i might miss i'm i i i believe i've i've missed some of them so you'll see what i mean by don't miss your attack okay um there's no healing on this build but it is pretty easy to dodge with this thing as it um uh, you're barely using any of your stamina. Well, you are using a lot of your stamina when you prime your attack, but the behemoth is on the ground most of the time after the first stagger because this has insane part damage as well as insane stagger damage. So, I think you'll be good. Right, Noisy Boy? <laughs> uh, so, um, let's move on to the armor. I have the Tragic Echo. You guys saw this in my... Uh, what is this thing called? My um, hurtful stick build. Uh, my warpike build. It comes with three rage, and when you die, you be you become a shadow clone. Yes, you do that Naruto. Uh, <laughs> you do that Naruto nonsense, and you gain 100% more damage for 15 seconds. After that, you die, and you have to revive yourself if no one else is there. I put knockout king. It gives us a uh, in uh, percent increase to stagger damage. Um, uh, which is perfect with the hammer since you want all the stagger you can get to keep the behemoth on the ground as long as possible Now these ones look new don't they? Yes due to the new update we got the new time weave armor You find these in the paradox breaks hunting ground uh, If you want to know where I got it get this video to two likes I'll set the bar lower this time. Let me see if you guys can get it, right? Um, uh, so let me explain uh, more on these. These Time Weave armor is like the best armor I have ever seen. Like, you, like if I did not put the Tragic Echo, I would put on the Time Weave, uh, time weave Helm. Because it comes with Predator and um, a Technique Cell. So I would put Predator on it again. I just love it. It comes with all the best stuff, even Catalyst as well, which works perfectly with the tonics. You know what I mean? But on the Time Weave armor, it comes with three Overpower, and I put three Knockout King on it, uh, giving me the six Knockout King. Um, and on the Time Weave gauntlets, it comes with Overpower, and I put Wild Frenzy on it, giving us the six Wild Frenzy and the six Overpower. And then the Time Weave leggings comes with three Catalysts, and it comes with discipline as well. So, as you can see, I already have the Catalyst, Knockout King, Overpower, Rage, Wild Frenzy. The Berserker's already spoken for. The uh, discipline. And, of course, you know what I put on the Drask's Eye Catalyst. Because to give me the six Catalysts I have over here. That's what we need. And then the Tonics. Assault Tonic. This is a command, guys. Take the Assault Tonic. No questions asked. Frenzy, you don't uh, need to take it. Blitz, take Blitz, please. Uh, you need the most attack speed you can get. Frenzy, it doesn't matter what uh, what else you take. Um, if you don't want to take the Frenzy, take the Stamina Tonic, okay? Because uh, this does use a lot of stamina, but the st you don't you wouldn't need that much stamina anyway, um, because the Behemoth will die before you need to regenerate. You know what I mean? Uh, so uh, you can take anything you want really it's up to you, but yeah, so the six catalysts 60% tonic effectiveness and tonic duration knockout king 30% stagger damage 30% increased stagger damage and after dodging through an attack your next attack deals 100% stagger damage I love it so much. You'll basically stagger this guy easily 
And now the 6 overpower gives us 60% more damage versus Staggered Behemoths. So once you stagger the guy, you get 60% more damage. The Rage, under 50% health, which is what Discipline is here for, giving us 7.5 critical strike chance, uh, limiting us to 50% health. Uh, putting the Rage, which gives us 25% uh, more damage, and the Wild Frenzy into play. Um, since when we are limited at 50% health, it allows us to gain 25% more damage and 20% more attack speed. And then the Berserker, I already explained, um, you lose uh, 150 health, but you gain 20% more damage after continually attacking the Behemoth since it stacks 10 times. Uh, you gain it for 3 seconds, but continually you stagger the Behemoth and it will continually refresh. If you lose those three seconds, you're going to have to stack it again ten times. Uh, so that's the build, guys. If you like it, make sure to smash that like button. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, here are the clips.
like we've got no more behemoths on the scanner beyond this island. This is your final battle. Stabilizers. We need to fall back now, but we'll be there to pick you up at the top of the chain. Never flown this close to the mails from his heart before. Can't say I'm a fan. We'll be back to pick you up when you reach the top, Skipper.
nastiest behemoths in this island cluster. Take it down with extreme prejudice. have it guys that is the build you saw the massive crits especially in that uh 1 2 13 escalation i was clapping over there i'm telling you like um yeah i did die a couple of times as i said there's no healing on this build so if you know how to use hammer which is not one of my specialties i am i actually this is my second worst weapon my first is sword hilarious right I, I suck with sword trust me but that call of dawn build i made was type fire right exactly i have like over a thousand views on that thing somehow hopefully this one reaches it guys please if you like the build smash that like button with them big muscles if you're new here make sure to subscribe uh all of you put a comment down below especially you noisy boy if you're watching and yeah get this video to two likes and i will put up my repeaters build Thanks for watching. See you next time. See ya.